Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Darling, on today's video we have a good one. I'm gonna be testing coconut soy pearl wax from 1617.com and IGI 6046 from Candle Signs. Okay guys, if you wanna see how I make these beautiful candles using these different waxes, keep on watching. Yes! Hello darling, on today's video I'm going to be testing different waxes, yes! So in here I have uh, my PV600 wax, uh, so I'm not going to be able to use it today, but I'm going to be using the grill to melt uh, the waxes. I'm going to be working with, uh, from 1617.com, I'm going to be working with their uh, pearl wax, I think I have like a 500 pack, and I also have some leftover from Candle Science, I have IGI 6046, so I'm going to start working with that too guys, so I'm going to make two different candles with two different fragrances and let's see how that compares to the candles that I have already made. Okay guys, so let me just get everything ready and guys, I'll be right back. Yes! Okay guys, we're back. So I'm gonna go find out uh, which is the, uh, the wick that we should use for this vessel in here. I decided to go into this small vessel because I don't wanna also, you know, waste too much, too much wax. So what I'm gonna do guys is I already measuring here inside. The diameter is two and a half inches. So I'm gonna go into the 1617 candle, 1617.com website. I'm gonna see which, uh, which they are recommending. And they're saying here, uh, they base these guidelines on testing on their luxury coconut apricot wax. Uh, so I'm assuming it should work on this one too. So they recommend CDN4, CDN5, or CDN6. So I'm gonna pick CDN5, the one in the middle. So we'll, we'll start now with that. Okay, so then we're gonna go to Candle Science website because that's for the IGI 6046. Okay, so they're gonna go to their week guide in here. So we're gonna go and we're gonna choose the wax, which is IGI 6046 coconut paraffin wax blend. Uh, they're asking for the container size. I'm gonna shoot small, which is 2.2 inches to 2.69 inches. So I'm gonna use a small. Okay, so they're recommending CD4. CD4 in here. Okay, so we have our quick selection done. Okay, so we are done using the computer. So let me just put it away, close this up, and I'm gonna go get set up over there at, at the candle bar, and I'll see you in a few. Yes! Okay, guys, we're back. So I have it here in mine. Candle making sheet in here. I got my vessel in here, and now I'm gonna find out how much water I need. So I'm just gonna put it on right here on my scale, and I'm just gonna put some water. So let's see how much water, darling. 5.5 ounces, yes! Okay, 5.5 water weight each. Okay, so let me just put this in the sink in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away. Okay, and I'm gonna get some, uh, let me get the alcohol bottle. Because you know guys, I always clean everything that I'm gonna, before I, I'm gonna use it. So remember, I'm gonna be using two candles. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna have the, the CD4, and the other candle is gonna have the CDN, Five and, and compare which one gives me the best HD. And like I told you before, guys, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait two weeks for them to cure. So I had the waxes in here, guys. I haven't touched them in so such a long time because I think it was my mistake first because I wasn't really curing the candles, you know. Um, so let's see, let's see if this works, guys. I'm gonna, you know, try my best. I'm gonna follow all the instructions from the manufacturers. Uh, make, to make sure that this really uh, is a successful candle. So as you know, I have a lot of different wigs. So let's see which one is this one here. Okay, these are eco. And what else? These are eco wigs and... Do I have any CD in here? No. 
Guys, I don't know about you, but again, a lot of smoke using the eco. Uh, I don't know why, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I got CD anything here. This is from 1617. So let's see. I need. CDN number five. I should have in here because I ordered all the sizes. CD14, CD22. I know I have to have CD4 somewhere. CD4, right over here. Okay, great. So I'm gonna use two of these. Before I get confused, guys, I need to label these containers in here. Okay. Oh, and this wax. This is for the IGI 6000. Uh, 6046 okay so let me show you here we are okay let's put this away so i'm gonna get them ready and i'll bring her back okay guys so i have in here the the prep vessels in here so let me just show them to you Ta -da! so now i'm gonna get the oils uh prepared i'm gonna put them in here put it in the front in here and i need to get four so I'm gonna mark them because I don't want to. So I'm gonna put numbers in here. The first one is gonna be per uh, Ocean Shoreline. So I'm gonna put in here number one. Always make sure that you mark everything, guys. And then number two is gonna be Sexy Men in here. So I'll make this one number two. Then um, this one, which is IGI 6046, I'm gonna make this one, it's gonna be number three. Ocean Breeze. And number four. Sexy Men. So Sexy Men is gonna be even numbers. Uh, ocean Shoreline is gonna be odd numbers. Okay, that's gonna be easier to remember. Okay, guys, and now I'm gonna have to use a cell phone uh, to find out how much wax I need. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got the, all the numbers from the wax calculator from my iPhone. So for every candle, I'm going to need 4.5 ounces of wax and 0.5 ounces of uh, fragrance oil. Yes! I'm just gonna run it up to, uh, to five, it's easier for me. Uh, so I think I have enough. Okay, so now I'm, I'm just gonna go and get the waxes. So guys, this is why it's so important for you to have multiple um, containers like this. For this kind of uh, testing, you're gonna need different, several containers. So that way you don't have to keep washing on uh, and just you know, wasting time, you have all the vessels in here. So I'm gonna measure 4.5 4.5 ounces of wax for each one of these. So this is the first wax, which is the pearl from 1617.com. So let me just move this out of the way. Now this is gonna get kind of messy. We'll see, let me just get the, I think I have a wax cutter somewhere in here. Ta-da! Okay, so let me just, so I need 4.5 ounces. So I'm gonna start cutting, almost. Okay, come on. Give me another 4.5, excellent, okay. Okay, this one is this RGI 6046. Just put it in here. In the meantime, let me just put this one on the grill. The first two uh, containers that are in the grill, that they are the, uh, the pearl wax. Let me just clean this because I don't want to cross contaminate. I like to keep everything, you know, pristine. Okay, so this wax, I'm gonna put it on the floor, guys, because it's very big. And I just wanna feel much smoother than the pearl, I don't know why. So 3.4, 4.4, I need just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. Okay, let's see. 4.5, great. Okay guys, we're back. Now it's time to do the oils. Yes! Let's see. So, let me get the different ones in here, guys. I remember, each one is 0.5. And, and you have to remember that the even numbers are, let me just check, Okay, darling, even numbers are sexy men. Yeah! Two and four. And it's gonna be 0.5 each. Okay. So two and four. 
Oh, that was it. That, this is the whole bottle. So this was one ounce. So I need to, if we like this candle, then we'll uh, order more. This should be. You just finish them all. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave them. They, technic they technically are uh, point sticks each, all of them, but it's fine. Okay, so let me just, I'm gonna take you guys up, up there and I'm gonna set up and then we're gonna start cooking. Yes! Okay guys, we're back. So I'm gonna start cooking this. So I'm gonna turn this on and they're getting hot. Okay, like I told you before, I'm not gonna be using this because this pot is full of a PV600 and I don't want to cook some laminate. So here we go. Let me just put the fragrances in here. Yes. One, two, three, four. Yes! Okay, let's see how that looks. We're back. Yes! So we have in here our four containers that are getting hot. Okay, great. And I have in here my oils. One, two, four. Right over here. Perfect. Okay guys, we're back. So I have in here the different uh, directions that I got from the website uh, for Coconut Apricot and it's basically the same for the two companies because I, I, uh, I cross-read each one. Okay, so we recommend heating slightly past 200 degrees Fahrenheit and adding the fragrance oil no lower than the 200 degrees. So this has to be very hot. These high temperatures help the wax and the fragrance oil bind. You will not burn off your fragrance oil regardless of splash point. You only need to stir your fragrance oil for about 20 seconds and pour immediately. Recommended pour temperatures is around 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Although this wax can be poured hotter or cooler without issue. Okay, so fragrance load uh, from 10 to 12%, okay? So yeah, so let's do that, guys. So I'm going to heat it up for 200 and add the oil right away. Mix for 20 seconds. Let me just, I'm gonna be using two different spatulas because we are using two different fragrance oils, so. So the pink one is gonna be for sexy men. Yes. And this one is gonna be for uh, the ocean one. Okay, so let's see how they're doing. I'm telling you guys, this grill is life-saving. 176, it's still too cold. Yeah, I'm trying not to uh, cross-contaminate anything. You know, this is very important, guys. Just moving them around so you can help them melt. This, is, uh, the handle is getting hot. That's the only issue that I'm having. That's no big deal. So remember, 200 and add the oil right away. Let me just get some pepper towels because this could be messy. I'm telling you guys, getting this grill at Walmart was the best investment I ever did. Because I will not do low boiling again if I can help it. Especially now, if you're doing two different waxes, guys, you have to do like, it takes forever. You have to do the double boiler for, for four different candles. This way you don't have to worry about it. Just, no, just cook it in one. Okay, this one is even, let me turn this off. They're all ready. Okay, so this one is number four. Some stir and look. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Just leave it to the side. Now I start for this one. This one is number three, and this one's gonna get this. And I'm gonna measure with this. It needs to get a little bit warmer because the temperature is going back down. So. It needs to be 200. It's just as soon as you move this right away. Okay, so this one is number three. Delicious. The temperature goes, goes down right away once you add the oil, guys, because it's not, it's really like, it's, 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 it's not that much wax, so you have to really take that into consideration. Okay. Right at 200, perfect. Yeah, temperature is so important, guys. The shoreline, the ocean shoreline, is very clear, very white, very transparent, I mean, no color. 
Okay guys, here we go. So let me just clean up and I'll be right back. Yes! Here we have the thing is full of stuff. So let me just put this in here. Uh, this wax gets hard very fast. So you have to be very uh, <laughs> aware about the timing issue. That's why I like to clean it right away. I don't like to wait. Like people like to put the put dishes in the sink. I don't like to put dishes in the sink. I like to wash like when I eat, stuff like that. Never, ever, ever. So like I told you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cure them for two weeks and then I'll let you know all about the CT, the HT, you know. So depending on how good the HT goes on those candles, I'll reorder the, the fragrance oils from sweetcandles.com. So guys, so I was telling you about the, the uh, dark rose and lavender from from what we company. Uh, it turned out to be really nice. Uh, it needs time to cure. You know, really like three or three or four days. I was able to get a, a, a nice uh, hot HP. So I'm very glad. I'm very pleased. You know, it, it's not a, an on your face HP, but it's something very delicate and expensive. I think everyone will love having that kind of candle at home. And I think it's gonna be one of my big sellers. Uh, what, I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my own signature fragrance, which is uh, gonna be like my trademark signature fragrance. So I'm gonna give you like a hint in the back, like on the notes. Oh, this is one of Michael's candles. So that's how I'm gonna be different from everybody else. I hope this video comes out nice, the quality. I'm trying to use 4K and I'm using more light also. I'm just trying to improve, to improve the quality of my uh, production for you guys because I think you guys deserve the best quality, you know? And don't forget to visit me also on the on my other channel. And guys, don't forget this Sunday, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, my live stream. Remember, 12 noon. Portland, Oregon uh, time. So in New York or the East Coast, it will be 3 p.m. Three hours ahead. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit and I'm just gonna grab a towel and I'm just gonna uh, start um, cleaning up in here and I'll be right back. Yes! So I took care of everything, I cleaned everything up. Uh, this is nice, nice and cool. Uh, the vessels are clean, I use rubbing alcohol on that. And the candles are solidly fine in there. They're looking, they're getting solid very fast. I, I noticed a huge difference between the different oils. Uh, the sexy menu is uh, kind of like a yellow uh, tone. And the other one is uh, very white. And yeah, so guys don't forget, every Sunday, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, I have my live stream. That's why I have my setup in here. So I just wanna be able to communicate with you guys and just have, concerns, questions, and uh, issues that happen to you during the week, you know, and just if I can answer you questions on how to make the candles, on, and yeah, so you know, it, it's a good platform for us to interact with each other and get to know each other, you know, it's different than doing um, the video that I do every week because it's, uh, this is like a one way for me to offer my experience, okay? Okay guys, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and just give a like to the videos, that's the way my channel grows and share the content with all your friends and family guys and on the next one guys, I'll see you Sunday, bye! Yes!